James chapter 2, yes. beginning with verse 14. James, the brother, half brother of the Lord Jesus, chapter 2, beginning with verse 14. What doth it profit, my brethren, though a man say he hath faith and hath not works? Can faith save him? If a brother or sister be naked and destitute of daily food, and one of you say unto them, Depart in peace, be ye warmed and filled. Notwithstanding, you give them not those things which are needful to the body. What does it profit? What good is it? Even so, faith, if it hath not works, is dead, being alone. Yea, a man may say, Thou hast faith, and I have works. Show me thy faith without thy works, and I will show thee my faith by my works. Thou believest that there is one God. Thou doest well. The devils also believe. They don't get you any further than the devil. Mm -hmm. now. And tremble. Mm -hmm. But wilt thou know, o vain man, that faith without works is dead? Mm -hmm. Was not Abraham our father justified by works when he had offered Isaac his son upon the altar? Yeah. Seest thou how faith wrought with his works, and by works was his faith made perfect? And the scripture was fulfilled, which saith, Abraham believed God, and it was imputed unto him for righteousness, and he was called the friend of God. Mm -hmm. You see then how that by works a man is justified, and not by faith only. Likewise also was not Rahab the harlot justified by works when she had received the messengers and had sent them out another way? For as the body without the spirit is dead, so faith without works is dead also. I want to talk about when does faith save? Hmm. Now, we all know we say by faith, amen? Mm -hmm. by, you know, Paul tells the Ephesians, and we quote it over and over again, for by faith are you saved through grace, that by that not of yourselves, it is the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. Mm -hmm. But uh, 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 here we find that James expands on this subject that uh, uh, faith does not always save. For he says the devils believe yes. and tremble. Yes. So there's a case of person who has complete faith. The devil has faith in the Lord. He knows who he is. That's right. Amen. He got total trust in the Lord. He knows God is going to do what God is going to do. Yes. Uh, when the when 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 the Lord came uh, to the to the coast of Gennesaret and and met the men who were filled with the with the evil spirits. Uh, uh, they recognize the Lord. Mm -hmm. They always recognize the Lord. When the sons of Sceva were casting out spirits, casting out devils, the devils had, and the man in whom the devil was said, Paul I know and Jesus I know, but who are you? See, the devil knows the Lord. The devil understands the Lord. The devil knows what the Lord is going to do, but in spite of all of that, uh, in spite of all of that belief, uh, he still is not going to be saved. So we want to know when does faith save? Uh, everybody who believes that Jesus is the Christ uh, is not going to be saved. Everybody who, who knows that uh, they need to obey the Bible, God's word, is not going to be saved. When the 
does faith say? Now, J now James here points out, uh, as, he's, as he puts forth his proposition, uh, he says, uh, what does a prophet, though a man say he hath faith, and have not works, can faith save him? Can, can if he just go around saying, I got faith, I'm just, I love the Lord, I, I just, I go to church every Sunday, I, you know, uh, can faith save him? And so that's the proposition that James put forth, and that's really what we're going to be looking at on this Lord's Day. When does faith save? Everybody who has any kind of faith in the Lord is not necessarily saved. There's a, there's, you know, uh, Jesus said, many shall come to me in that day and say, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name, thy name cast? And you know the scripture just as well as do I. And the Lord says, I never knew you. Depart from me. Now, they're, they're always, they saying, Lord, Lord. They're saying that Jesus is uh, their Lord. And, uh, 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 but yet we see they are not saved. When does faith save? When we understand when faith saves, then we can be assured that we have the salvation that faith brings. James expands. In verse 15, he says, If a brother or sister be naked and destitute of daily food, and one of you say unto them, Depart in peace, be ye warmed and filled, notwithstanding you give them not those things which are needful to the body, what doth it profit? What good is it? So that leaves you open to understand that some faith is good, is, is worthwhile, and some faith is worth nothing. Just because, you're, just because you're talking about Jesus, Jesus, and you got him down in your heart, if your Jesus doesn't get to your hands and your feet and your mouth, then that faith does not save. John, James says, what good is it? Run around being pious looking and religious. What good is it? It's no good until you act on it. And then uh, uh, he said, even so faith, if it hath not works, is dead being alone. Saving faith. Saving faith is always accompanied by divine action. And when I say divine action, I mean acting on that faith in the way that God's word tells you to. <clears throat> Plenty of folk out here got faith. Plenty of them. Some crying, some singing, some, you know, doing all kinds of true things. But, jo but James is pointing out that even though <clears throat> they, they, uh, they may have the intellectual agreement if it doesn't come through in your actions then your faith is dead being alone Amen. Jesus said turn the other cheek you might do something wrong you turn the other cheek you ain't willing to turn the other cheek guess what's wrong with your faith huh? guess what kind of faith you got huh? Jesus said if, 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 if they demand you go one mile go with them too if you refuse to do it, what kind of faith is that? Dead. 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 When the Lord tells you what to do, if you want a saving faith, you simply have you simply must do. Your words and your actions must come together. together. If a yes. man yes. say he hath faith and hath not works, mm -hmm. and, and we're not talking about earning your way to heaven. Because you cannot earn your way to heaven. Right. Heaven is so marvelous and so wonderful. Heaven is so so immaculate. Heaven is so 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 beyond, so infinitely beyond our comprehension with beauty and majesty. Uh, there's no way you're going to earn your way to a place like that. If you worked all your life and never made a mistake and kept every penny you made in order to go to heaven, 
you still wouldn't have enough to pay the rent in heaven for five minutes. You cannot earn your way to heaven. You can't pay, but how can you? How can something temporal pay for something eternal? Mm -hmm. If you, if you, if you, if you serve the Lord all the days of your life, and you went to heaven, and, and you took all the all the money you made working, and all everything you had, and you took it to heaven, and and the rent was a penny a month. Mm. It wouldn't be long before you'd be out of money. <laughs> <laughs> you cannot work your way. That's not what we're talking about. We're talking, we aren't talking about works of merit. We're talking about works of faith. Doing what the Lord would have you to do. And then he goes on, he, he continues the argument. He says, you believe there's one God. Thou doest well, so the devils also believe. Faith must be accompanied by action on that that we have faith in. Mm -hmm. That's right. Learn to trust God. Mm -hmm. right. We try to trust people. People ain't gonna act right. That's right. Mm -hmm. Do you always act right? Mm -hmm. Huh? No. Neither do I. <coughs> Quit putting your trust in people. Put your trust in God. <laughs> Amen. Uh, amen, preacher. Amen. amen. Okay. He says, uh, uh, he says, thou believes there is one God, thou doest well. The devils also believe. Yes. Now, the difference between you and the devil is that he's smarter than you are. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Huh? Mm -hmm. The difference between you and the devil is that he's much smarter than you are. Yes. Yes. See, you give lip service and don't obey the Lord, mm -hmm. and you feel wonderful and happy. Mm -hmm. See, the difference between <laughs> us and the devil, he's smarter than we are. Yes. And that joker knows yes. that when he does not obey the Lord, he knows where he's going to be. We'll disobey the Lord, go and do what we want to do, and, and talk about we're going, going on to heaven anyhow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Huh? That's but right. see, he's smarter than that. When he don't obey the Lord, he trembles. Yes, he does. He knows what side his bread <laughs> is buttered on. <laughs> You know, we, we, we won't come, we, we won't we won't be realistic. We won't we won't come to those conclusions. We think we gonna skip and hop and jump, mm -hmm. you know, with the what they call it, the grasshopper complex, you know, not preparing for the winter and all of that kind of stuff. And you know what happened to all the grasshoppers when the winter time comes, don't you? Yeah. Next one next next spring you got a whole new bunch. That's right. Huh? Uh, because they don't prepare. And uh, the the devil when he believes and he doesn't obey what the Lord says to do, uh, he trembles. Mm -hmm. He's scared silly. Yes. Now, I also want you to understand something else about the devil that makes him the devil. And you might find a little devil in you too, but he trembles, but he still don't turn around and obey. Right. You, you understand? What I'm saying? You know, a lot of times we think if we get in trouble, we'll obey. You know, how many times I've been to the hospital and somebody maybe on their deathbed say, "Lord, you just get me out of here. I'm gonna be in church. I'm gonna obey the Lord. I'm gonna follow the Lord all the rest of my life." Sometimes I would go to jail, and then if I just get out of here, but when I'm coming to church, back, I'm coming to you. What, you. what you've been teaching me is right, and they get out of jail, and don't see him one time. That's right. Well, the devil's smarter than you are. Yes. When the devil sees that he's not obeying the Lord, mm -hmm. he trembles mm -hmm. because he knows his final fate. Mm -hmm. Now, let's keep on with James and his, and his argument. I, I might just throw this sermon out. Because I, all I got to do is just read this to you. And, uh, uh, and, and we're going to get where the Lord wants us to get. So then he says... Uh, 
Verse 20. Wilt thou know, O man, vain man, that faith without works is dead? Now, remember these are not works of merit. Yes. These are works of faith. That's right. Works of faith is when you obey the Lord in doing what he tells you to do. To do. That's mm -hmm. right. This ain't works of merit. You're not earning nothing. How you gonna earn something? Mm -hmm. Huh? How you gonna earn something? Mm -hmm. You know? You can't earn nothing with, with God. Mm -hmm. That's right. How you gonna earn a day of life? Mm -hmm. Huh? You can't earn nothing with God. He gave it to you. It's a gift. Mm -hmm. And every day he gives you a gift. It's worth more than all the money you're gonna make in a lifetime. Mm -hmm. Every day. You sit down to the table. You ain't earning nothing. You ain't earning nothing. That's right. You need to thank the Lord. You, you know, the Bible says, uh, the Bible says that the word, the food is sanctified by the word of God and prayer. That's right. Amen. You need to be thanking the Lord. Amen. You can't make no chicken. Mm -hmm. No collard green. Mm -hmm. You can't make no cabbage. It's a gift. Thank you. It's a gift. So you say thank you. And if you have to say thank you twice, say thank you twice. That's right. Yeah, you might have to give thanks like like Mr. Brown. You know, Lord, thank you for this chicken leg. And the chicken leg, you Lord, you done done a wonderful job. And then Lord, thank you for the breast. And then, and he would go on, and people would be sitting there hungry. <laughs> and he would thank the Lord for every piece of the chicken. And by the time he get done thanking the Lord, the whole food would be cold. <laughs> Don't even think in terms of works of merit. You cannot earn anything, Amen. material or physical, that God has given you. Yes, given you. And everything you have and Amen. are goes back to God. Amen. Amen. Everything. Oh, yeah. God ain't had nothing to do with this chair. Yes, he did. <laughs> yes, he did. Amen. Look at the material. Mm -hmm. Where did it come from? Dirt. Dirt. <laughs> All of them eventually went back to dirt. Mm -hmm. The wood came from a tree. Tree came from dirt. Mm -hmm. Everything, everything you have, everything you are, everything you're able to do is a gift from God. Amen. I know you had to do your part, but that's just a small part of it. That's just the little teeny part of it. That's right. Amen. I know you had to buy eyeglasses, but God made you see. Amen. That's right. Amen. And buying eyeglasses is just a little teeny weeny weensy part of it. Right. Am I getting there? Yes. Huh? So we're not, don't even think in terms of works of merit and earning something and pulling yourself up by your own bootstraps. <laughs> because you ain't got no bootstraps. <coughs> you ain't got no boots. If you have boots, it comes from what God has given you. Yes. So now he says, uh, um, uh, Wilt thou know, o vain man, that faith without works is dead? And when he talks about works, remember he's talking about works of faith. He's talking about obedience to what God has given you yes. to do. Amen. Amen. Now, he's going to, that's the principle. He's going to finish it off with a few examples. I want you to watch and see what happens when faith saves. Faith does not save a person who just says, I have faith. I have faith. All right. you, you cannot be saved on talk. Mm -hmm. uh, amen. 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 You know, we, we, we've seen some extraordinary exercises in oratorical uh, oh. disarray uh -huh. in the last few months. Yes. Talk. Just talk. Yes, sir. You know, but that won't do it. Now, James says, he starts off with the first example. He says, Abraham. Now, once you watch this, was not Abraham our father? 
justified. Now, we talked about justification last week. Justification is when you are declared not guilty Amen. by God. Yes, by God. Now, you are guilty, uh -huh. but he chooses to cover your sins with the blood yes. of Jesus, your, Jesus, his son. Thank you, Lord. Yes. Thank you. You are guilty. Yes. All right. But you can be justified. Yes. Now it says Abraham was justified. All right? And he was justified by works. Now when when was uh, Abraham justified or saved? And James says, when he had offered Isaac his son mm -hmm. upon the altar. Mm -hmm. God told Abraham, go out into the land, Moriah. When you get out there, mm -hmm. I'm going to show you a mountain. Mm -hmm. And when you go to get to that mountain, I want you to take Isaac the son of promise. And I want you to offer him as a sacrifice. Mm -hmm. Abraham getting old now. Mm -hmm. Getting old. Him and Sarah. You remember they were getting old and hadn't had no children. Mm -hmm. and, and the angel promised them that they were going to have a child. Mm -hmm. And they got older and didn't have no children. They got older, didn't have no children. Didn't, I don't, and then they came up with an idea. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh -huh. <laughs> you know, if, if we would just learn how to keep our ideas yeah. <laughs> to ourselves, Amen. there's more Ishmaels walking around, Ishmael churches, Ishmael preachers, Ishmael Amen, preacher. walking around this world today far more than there are people who are willing to just tell you what the word of God says. Mm -hmm. But he says Abraham was justified by works when, when preacher, when he offered his son Isaac upon the altar. Mm -hmm. Are we there yet? Mm -hmm. Yes. Huh? When does faith save? Abraham was justified, meaning saved. Mm -hmm. You're not going to be saved till you're justified. All the justified people are saved. All the saved people are justified. Nobody ain't justified and saved. Nobody saved and justified. No exceptions. All right? He was justified by works. Mm -hmm. There's a belief, then there's the action mm -hmm. on the belief. Mm -hmm. And the justification comes upon the action right. on the belief. So he said he was justified not by faith only, but by faith and works. works. When he had offered Isaac his son, mm -hmm. seeing thou, seest thou how oh, faith, faith wrought with yeah. his works. If he just believed in God, oh, I believe, you know. People tell you to do that. They tell you to do that some of the most, some of the most, some of the worst times. Mm -hmm. When you're trying to be saved and seek the Lord, first thing you do is tell you just don't do nothing. Just believe. Mm -hmm. Just sit there. Just believe. Just bow your head and ask the Lord God. You don't have to do nothing. <laughs> Sound like to me you got to do something. Amen. Mm -hmm. If you want to be justified. Mm -hmm. See how, how faith wrought with his works and by works was faith mm -hmm. made perfect. This word perfect here means complete. complete. Mm -hmm. You ain't finished believing till you get done obeying. All mm -hmm. right. Amen. 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 And your believing don't count till you obey. Now, I'm going somewhere with this. So stick with me. And then he says, now here's, now here's what happens when you believe and you obey. Here's what happens. Let's look and see what happens. All right? 
Hmm. First of all, he says, how faith were with his works, and by works was faith made perfect. Number first thing happened was Abraham's faith became perfect, became complete. Mm -hmm. Now, believing without acting on it is incomplete. Mm -hmm. And incomplete faith does not save. Mm -hmm. All right? So he says, the first thing happened was Abraham's faith was made complete. If you want your faith to be made complete, you must act on what God has given you to do. Mm -hmm. No ifs, no and, no, and no excuses. Mm -hmm. I don't care what your background is. I don't care where you've been. I don't care who told you what. You know, sometimes we just have to stop playing. You know, if 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 I you know if I told you that uh, uh, if if you want if I had a big pot of money maybe a hundred thousand dollars up here and told you in order to get it you had to believe and obey what I told you you wouldn't have no problem with it mm -hmm. you wouldn't be able to wait till I told you what to obey mm -hmm. you know but the minute you say it, it's spiritual or, or it's the church as we call it guess what. Well, I don't know. I heard on the radio lady last week. You know, what about all these people on the radio? And what about what about them? You've seen what the Bible says. You know you didn't do it. What you waiting on? <laughs> Step one. First thing happened when, when Abraham obeyed. His faith was made complete. Cannot be saved with an incomplete faith. Mm -hmm. You got to act on it. Mm -hmm. The first step in salvation has to do with committing yourself to the Lordship of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. That I'm going to do what he says. And then he says in verse 23, <laughs> and the scripture was fulfilled which said Abraham believed God. <laughs> First thing happened to Abraham was when he, when he acted on his faith. All right. When his faith was made complete, perfected. The second thing happened to Abraham is right here in this verse. And then uh, it, it says that uh, uh uh, the scripture was fulfilled, which saith Abraham believed God. Now, when is the scripture going to be fulfilled to say you believe God? When is it going to be fulfilled? Huh? When you act on it. Not when you sit there and believe. Not when you're talking about how many relatives you got back there in that church. Not when you, no, 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 no. This is an individual private thing. It's an individual private thing. Each person must deal with this thing themselves. Amen? Amen. So, uh, the scripture was fulfilled which saith Abraham believed God. That's the second thing that happened. Now, let's see what the third thing would happen. And it was imputed unto him for righteousness. Now, I told you over and over again, and I know it's a crude illustration, but to help you to understand this thing, you got to understand that righteousness is the currency of heaven. Amen. Amen. Righteousness, you know, uh, wife and I went down Mexico a few years back, and uh, we didn't have no uh, pesos. Huh? And then I couldn't understand the pesos because I was trying to remember my high school <laughs> Spanish. <laughs> now, you know, we celebrated my 50-year reunion. <laughs> and uh, on top of that, Spanish wasn't the last thing I took when I was in high school. So, <laughs> <laughs> And they had this Nuevo Dollars. Well, I figured out dollars is dollars. But I kept scratching my head because Nuevo 
is used for nine. And the way of is also used for new. So I didn't know I had the money trying to buy something. I didn't know if I needed new dollars or nine dollars. <laughs> I couldn't get the currency right. <clears throat> but when I was down there and I would go in a particular shop, <clears throat> then uh, uh, I, it may be that I needed Mexican currency. Mm -hmm. And see, if I needed Mexican currency, American currency wouldn't do. Mm -hmm. What I'm telling you is the righteousness of God is a currency of heaven. Mm -hmm. You want to do business with God? Now you can't, now look, <laughs> you can't have no money that somebody else printed up. Uh, amen. You can't even do that here. You go in the store with some dollars, a couple of hundred dollar bills that, that, that weren't printed up in the mint. <laughs> huh? See, if you're gonna do business here, you need you need you need United States currency. That's right. Mm. When you get the God, United States currency ain't gonna do it. Mm. Right. When I was in Mexico, uh, U.S. currency, if there was some place it wouldn't do it because most people take dollars. So to be honest, if you they see a dollar coming, they they don't mind that at all. Mm -hmm. But when you're dealing with God, you need some of God's own currency, and that's His righteousness. Mm -hmm. Now let's see what happens. Now remember that uh, when when Abraham obeyed, when Abraham offered, all right? Now you know the story. God told him there's a ram in the bush. He said, but because you have offered, all right? He wasn't the one taking the sacrifice. He was the one offering the sacrifice. All right. So now when he offered him, his faith was made complete. Mm -hmm. The scripture was fulfilled with said Abraham believed God. Number two. Number three, it was imputed unto him for righteousness. Now what that simply means, imputed is a bookkeeping term. Mm -hmm. And it means to put something in to your account. Mm -hmm. Amen. That, that's what it's talking about. Mm -hmm. And so what he's saying is when Abraham offered, not when he not when he had mental assent, not, not when he offered, when he obeyed God. All right. God put some of his money, mm -hmm. his righteousness, mm -hmm. in Abraham's account. You can't deal with God with your righteousness. Right. You can't deal with God. Your, your righteousness is a filthy rag. Right. 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 And, and it's hard for me to, to put in pulpit language what filthy rags is. That's all right. We, we, use, we, we use Scott tissue. <laughs> I'm trying to help you now. Huh? But back then they used rags. They have Scott tissue. Mm -hmm. We ain't going there. All right? So, God puts some of his righteousness in Abraham's account. Now, that's what happens when God does with you. When you believe and you obey. Not till you obey now. Sitting somewhere and just giving mental assent. If a man say he have faith and have not works, Am I, am I getting there? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. That won't work with God. When your faith and your works work together, then God puts some of his righteousness Into your in account. your account. Amen. Amen. Ain't that something? You ain't got nothing that's worth more than the righteousness of God. All right? 
Now that's 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 uh, three, right? His faith becomes perfect or complete. Uh, if the scriptures fulfilled, it said Abraham believed God, and God God didn't testify that you're a believer until you obey. Mm -hmm. Now I'm going somewhere with this. So you put a, you put a you put a you put a nickel on there. You put you put a you put a, a, a nail in that. God doesn't count you as a believer until you obey. No need you sitting on the on the back row talking about coming to my heart until you get up and obey what God said. Amen? Amen. God doesn't consider you a believer. All right. And uh, and then he says, thirdly, it was imputed unto him for righteousness. And then fourthly, he says, and friend. he was called friend. the friend. Mm -hmm. Of God. You ain't even God's friend until you get up and obey. I don't care how religious you are. I don't care how much phony ghost you got, how loud you holler, how many times you roll around the floor, who covers you up with a sheet, who jibber jabbers, you know, and uh, it just don't make no difference. You're not even a friend of God until you do what God has told you to do. Amen. Amen. Twenty-four. <clears throat> you see then how that by works a man is justified and not by faith only. Mm -hmm. Minute somebody tell you just only believe. Mm -hmm. Just only believe. Mm -hmm. Only believe. Mm -hmm. A little red light on a go off in your head, and you're gonna run out of that place <laughs> like a rat running out of a burning barn. Oh. No such thing in God's word. Likewise, 25. Likewise. Why did why put likewise there? They just got done talking about Abraham, right? Mm -hmm. Why did he say likewise? Works, faith and works, because it's the same thing. Mm -hmm. Is that right? Same mm -hmm. principle. Just like. Now, Just now you notice example. that the examples we're getting mm -hmm. aren't from the New Testament. Mm -hmm. That's right. They are. They're they are from the New Testament. Mm -hmm. They're in the New Testament. They are from the New Testament. That's right. right. That's right. That's right. So and what I'm trying to tell you is there never was a time when God would accept mm. our modern idea of mm. just believing in him. Mm. <laughs> mm. Mm. Not Old Testament, All right. not New yeah. Testament. Yeah. If Noah had refused to build the ark, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you would not even know who Noah was. That's right. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. That's true. Likewise, amen. amen. Now you you can fool with that a little bit. Uh, he was eleven. By faith Noah, being warned of God of things not seen of yet, moved with fear, prepared the ark to the saving of his house, by the which he condemned the world and became heir of the righteousness which is by faith. Mm -hmm. So look at that. Same thing. Likewise. Every faithful child of God, likewise, and when it comes to you and me, likewise, likewise, mm -hmm. am I getting there? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Likewise, also, is Rahab the harlot justified, made, declared not guilty, saved mm -hmm. by works when. When does faith say? <laughs> huh? Abraham was saved when he offered. Yep. Rahab the harlot was justified by her works when she received the messengers and had sent them out another way. You know how she put her life on the line. Yes. And then James says again <clears throat> for the third time, if not the fourth in this chapter. Mm. For as the body without the spirit is dead, so faith without works 
is dead also. Somebody <laughs> said, well, preacher, what in the world does that have to do with me? Let me tell you what that has to do with you. All right? Mm -hmm. Faith saved Noah. Faith saved Abraham. Faith mm -hmm. saved Abraham. Faith saved Moses. Faith saved uh, uh, faith saved Moses when he esteemed the reproach of Christ greater than all the riches in Egypt. Mm -hmm. And faith will save you when you obey the gospel of Jesus Christ. Amen. Mm -hmm. Just don't do what he say. This ain't rocket science. <laughs> it's all over the place. <coughs> ever since the beginning of this ecclesia, ever since the beginning of this thing we call the church, but it's, it's really a little more than that. Mm -hmm. Men and men are doing the same thing in obedience to the Lord. In Acts, when the history of the apostles, they began teaching the message of the gospel. In Jerusalem, they heard the message. Mm -hmm. They believed in Jesus Christ, the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ. They made a lordship decision. Oh, they didn't understand all about what sin is, what is sin, what isn't sin, how to stay away from sin. You got, you're going to be learning that the rest of your life. <coughs> but they understood that they must submit themselves to the lordship of Jesus Christ. And then upon that, we call that repentance. They acknowledged that state, and then they were baptized into Jesus Christ. For the remission of sin. Somebody said, Well, what? You know, you know what? You know when your faith is gonna save you. After you've heard, after you believe, after you made a lordship decision, <coughs> after you openly acknowledge it, Jesus, Jesus said, Whosoever therefore shall confess me before men, him will I confess before my father which is in heaven. Amen. And after you've been baptized. Now, just being dipped ain't enough. Mm. A lot of folks been dipped. You know, swimming, they rolled under the water. Mm -hmm. Fell off a boat. I remember one time I fell off a boat. Oh. <laughs> Down in the water, lost my eyeglass. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that didn't do no good. I went under the water. You know, time mm -hmm. I got thrown off on, went way down under the water. Mm -hmm. That didn't do no good. What must happen is when we obey the gospel of Jesus Christ. <coughs> and if you taught you say before you baptism, then you need to do it over again. Amen. Amen. <coughs> you didn't do this. You did something else. If I know you went under the water, but so did I when I fell off the boat. <laughs> but you didn't do this. Amen. Amen. You thought you were baptized and saved <coughs> another time. You didn't do this. You have to have, you have to understand this is a commitment. <clears throat> Amen? Amen. Christ is a mediator. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> so uh, 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 we, our, 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 our faith saves when we obey. Amen. When we obey, when we believe, when we confess, when we repent. Make that Lordship decision, confess faith in Jesus Christ, and baptize for the remission of our sins. Mm -hmm. We're saved. How do you know we're saved, preacher? Do you feel it? It don't mm -hmm. know what you feel. Mm -hmm. Your salvation don't take place in your mind. Amen. Mm -hmm. now listen to what I'm saying now. The fact that you think you saved has no bearing <coughs> on whether or not you are saved. You say when God thinks you say. And you can know when God thinks you say. Because he tells you. He says repent. And be baptized every one of you. In the name of Jesus Christ. For remission of sin. When he's wiped the guilt of your sins away. You are saved. You are justified. And I'm getting there. Your faith is made perfect. Am I getting there? Mm -hmm. When you obey the Lord Jesus Christ. Um, and not only that, not only do you have the perfect faith, but God, in, God imputes 
righteousness in your account. Don't worry about outward appearances. You don't have to shout and prove to me you saved and prove to me you got the Holy Ghost. No. <coughs> God promised those things. God don't go back on his promise. Amen. Amen. You can just walk away. Now, now, I expect you to be happy because I'll be happy too. <laughs> but uh, uh, you can just walk on out of here like a normal person. You don't have to make no outward dis displays <coughs> of, of, of salvation. 3,000 people were baptized on Pentecost. How they act when they come up out the water? <laughs> you don't even know. Yeah. You know why you don't know? Because that's <coughs> not important. The important things, the important things, that they were saved by faith. When were they saved by faith? When they acted and obeyed what God had given them to do. Amen. And when they got done with that, God <coughs> his righteousness. You need his currency. Now you're going to deal with God. You know, don't be trying to earn no righteousness. Don't be trying to act so good mm. until you righteous. <laughs> huh? Mm. You just make up your mind you're going to obey the Lord. Mm. And he'll put his righteousness mm. in yeah. your